South Florida. Hello and welcome everyone. The storm expected to take a turn toward the north. But when will it finally make that move is the question. Chief Meteorologist Phil Farrow live in the Weather Center with much more on Joaquin. Phil. All right, so here's the very latest advisory. As of 2 p.m., Category 1, 85 mile per hour winds under 200 miles east-northeast of the central Bahamas. This is the visible satellite imagery, and you can see a very well-organized system. There's the eye, the center of circulation. There are some feeder bands already with it. As a matter of fact, some heavy rain has come down across Georgetown, and we do have some video of that rainfall due to the feeder bands coming in, already causing some localized street flooding as the system continues to near the central Bahamas. It will continue to dump rain across the area. All right, so what can we expect? Well, here's the official forecast code. High pressure to the east. Here is the front that should protect us from this system. It is being pushed along by the jet stream. Could be a Category 2 by Thursday at 8 a.m. Then by Thursday night, as the front and the jet approaches, it's going to be a Category 2, 105 mile per hour winds. And then tracking right across the uh, Gulf Stream current, a lot of heat energy there. It could become a major system Saturday morning. And then most of the models now are hinting that this could possibly make landfall either across the middle Atlantic states or the northeast sometime over the weekend or the early part of next week. Already a hurricane warning is in effect for the central Bahamas. The northwestern Bahamas are looking at a hurricane watch. All right, so there's a couple of things here that we are looking at. First of all, the models are basically all in agreement that this is going to stop on a dime due to the jet stream in that front and aim for the middle Atlantic states or the northeast. So scenario number one, if it stays closer to the coast, we will probably see uh, some uh, swells coming in, maybe the threat of rip currents, choppy seas. Scenario number two, if high pressure weakens and the front moves in rather quickly, then it could be a northeast threat. And for us, it just means less of an impact, some showers and some thunderstorms. So wind over the weekend, around 10 to 15 miles per hour. The rain should stay well offshore. Choppy seas for us, eight foot seas in the Gulf Stream. And by the way, next high tide will be around 11 p.m. tonight. That could mean some more localized street flooding. We'll have more in our local forecast a little bit later on.